The three and a half thousand present at Hewish Park are unlikely to forget what they saw in a hurry. Birmingham's second visit to Somerset in two and a half weeks got off to a positive start when Kyle Bartley headed in Neil Erdley's corner. Barely a deep breath later, Yeovil were level. Ed Upson's free kick, a fine example of the art. The Glovers have never reached round three of the League Cup. Birmingham are twice winners. Just shy of half-time, Blues Scottish winger Chris Burke played a part in his side regaining the lead. His deflected cross falling nicely for his former Rangers teammate Andrew Shinney. A first goal south of the border for the man signed from Inverness, Cali Thistle. Now the controversy. 91 minutes on the clock, Birmingham ahead 2-1 and Dan Byrne lands awkwardly after an aerial challenge. No foul, so no whistle, but visiting goalkeeper Colin Doyle puts the ball out of play. Once Byrne is back on his feet, referee Darren Sheldrake restarts the game, but instead of returning the ball to a Birmingham player from the throw, as per the unwritten convention, Yeovil's Byron Webster took it upon himself to chip the Blues keeper, cure a predictable melee, celebrations among relieved home supporters and animated debate on the touchline. All of which was a prelude to extra time. Birmingham were fuming and their mood darkened further when Luke Ayling lashed in the first goal of his senior career, Yeovil in front for the first time. During half-time in extra time, manager Gary Johnson apologised to his opposite number, Lee Clark, for Webster's questionable goal. And from the kick-off, Johnson ordered his players to stand aside and allow Lee Novak an unchallenged equaliser. Fifteen minutes too late for Clark's liking, and strangely the second time that Johnson had found himself in this uncomfortable position. During his first stint at Yeovil, he oversaw a similar incident in a League Cup tie with Plymouth. And so an ill-tempered game was decided by a shootout. One all after three kicks each, Yeovil's Jamie McAllister lost his nerve and it was left to Tom Adeyemi to win the tie. Just. A night when right and wrong got muddled up in football's moral maze, the face and demeanour of the Birmingham boss a more graphic guide than his words.